Hi, I'm Sarah from the Baby Wearing Academy and I'm here today to talk to you about the Nuna Cuddle Baby Carrier. Um, I'll be brutally honest and say it's not my favourite. Um, I think lots of people are going to love it and it's definitely possible to use it safely. Um, for me, it's really bulky. There's a lot of it. The straps are very heavily padded. The shoulder straps are very heavily padded. Um, and the thing about padding is it's not necessarily the answer to comfort. The answer to getting a comfortable baby carrier is getting one that fits you and your baby well um, and knowing how to use it appropriately. Um, so sometimes uh, extra padding can just make it harder to get a better fit. Um, so, I mean, some people are gonna love it. Um, I think it's not cheap, they're about 150 quid. Um, and I just think for, 150 quid there are a lot of carriers out there um that personally i prefer that is a personal opinion um but yeah the waistband is quite nice and soft it's not um overly structured the shoulder straps are very structured um but yeah that's a personal preference thing um so in terms of using it I tend to find that leaving the back clip done up means I don't have to reach it while it's behind me. So um, leaving that done up, I've got it tight enough so that if I fold those shoulder straps as much as I can um, and put those on my body so they're in the midpoint on my shoulders, this strap is taut across my chest. If I were to make it any looser, these shoulder straps would be off the edges of my shoulders. Um, and once I've got the carrier on, they're not gonna do me any good. So if you're sharing this carrier with somebody, you might find that this is the piece that needs to be adjusted between you. So do it up, fold the shoulder straps, put them on your body. You want this strap to be taut across your chest. You can then chuck the whole thing over your head, a bit like a t-shirt. That means you never have to reach that clip behind you to get it done up. It also means you can wear it relatively low. On, I can you see here, it's got piping, so it will move up and down on the shoulder straps. You want it to sit relatively low rather than up on the back of your neck. Lots of people wear back clips up on the back of their neck because it's the only place they can reach to do it up. If you leave it done up and chuck it over your head, um, then you don't have to reach it to do it up. Uh, then, hmm, before I do anything else, let me show you. Then find your waistband. Pick your waistband up, put it on your natural waist. You don't need it down by your hips. If I were to wear this down here, A, it's gonna make my back clip ride up my back, but also it's gonna put the baby's head too low on my body. I want the baby's head to be on the firm part of my chest above my breast tissue, above any squishy bits that you might have. You want your baby nice and high on your body. Um, so you're going to get that waistband, pick it up, put it around your natural waist. You've got a fluffy bit of Velcro, wrap the fluffy bit round you so that it's level with the floor. You don't want it down like that. You want it nice and straight. And then I can just put my hand through the carrier, hold that fluffy bit still, find the scratchy end, wrap it round and stick it down. Again, try and get it as straight as you can so that it overlaps like that rather than having it angled because what you get is more of the Velcro in contact. That makes it absolutely rock solid. It's not gonna come off um, if you've got a lot of that Velcro in contact with itself, as it were, or the other part of it. Um, then you do the international baby wearing dance of adjusting your clothing. There we go, right. Now, inside the carrier, Admittedly, I bought this second hand, so I don't know um, when you get them new. Generally with baby carriers, when you get them brand new, they're set up in uh, the newborn position. If you've been given your carrier um, or you've bought it on the second hand market, have a look inside the carrier. You've got a zip. You want that zip done up if you're carrying a newborn um, because what happens is when you do that zip up, I don't know if you can see that. The baby is now gonna sit here rather than here. So when my baby gets bigger, I will undo this zip 
and that flap then opens and my baby can sit in the bottom of the carrier. When you've got a newborn, you want them to sit a bit higher on your body. Um, and so by doing that zip up, you get a kind of extra booster seat in there. So you've got all of this space underneath the booster seat where the baby's gonna sit, yeah? So from that point, in the instructions, the Nuna instructions, they've got half the carrier done up and they slide the baby in diagonally. I don't particularly want to hold my newborn with one arm. I mean, I can. I used to be a midwife. I can do a lot with one hand when I'm holding a newborn in the other. But I don't particularly want necessarily to hold a newborn in, in one hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my baby. This is Robin. Robin is my newborn size demo doll. But if I hold Robin in two hands, oh, can we Robin find your other arm? Um, on, my, on my chest in front of my body here, I just want to encourage Robin's knees you'll probably find with your baby because your baby has muscle tone your baby will automatically bring their knees up when you pick them up so i'm going to encourage robin into that knees up position and i'm just going to find the booster seat and i'm going to bring that up between robin's feet um, and again your baby's legs not going to go plunk like that because your baby's going to keep their knees up but you know so I can bring that boost seat up. I can then bring the whole back panel up over the baby's back. And I just end up holding the baby and the carrier by default. You might find, if your baby is particularly relaxed, Robin having no muscle tone has you know terrible spaghetti limbs, you might find you've got your baby's feet down here. If your baby is very curled up, they might have their knees tucked up and their feet might rest inside the carrier. That's absolutely fine, as long as their weight is on their bottom on that booster seat. So I can slide my entire hand in, my arm in, under the baby's bottom there. Their weight is not on their feet if they choose to put their feet there. Their weight is on their bottom, which is on that booster seat. So uh, holding the baby and the carrier, I've now got four clips to do up. I've got two that do up here and I've got two that do up at the sides. One of the things about the Nuna that is nice is they've got magnetic clips. So when you take that clip and just offer it up somewhere near the buckle, it just does up. That's quite handy. So one on that side, one on that side. There you go. And then same down here, where is it? Ha ha, there it is. So make sure your baby's hand is up near their face somewhere. What you don't want to do is trap your baby's hand under the buckle because if they wake up, they're gonna want their hands. So hand up near their face, find the buckle, clips into it. It just, it's magnetic, so it really does do itself up, which is lovely. What I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna tighten. So I've got two straps here and then I've got two down here as well. So tighten, just pulling towards the floor. Same on this side, down towards the floor. And then the sides, I wanna find the strap here and I'm just gonna pull forwards to tighten. I'm not gonna over tighten on that side because I wanna be able to reach this one as well. And then I'm gonna tighten on that side. There we go. Right. Last thing to do, if I put my fingers on the baby's knees, I can slide my hands up inside the carrier and hold the baby's pelvis. So I've got my fingers behind their bottom and my thumbs in front of their hips. And I'm just gonna tip their bottom in towards me. So tuck their bum under. What that does is it transfers the weight onto the back of their bottom. If you think about the difference between perching on a bar stool and lounging in a deck chair, you want to encourage your baby into that deck chair sort of seat. Um, and again, Robin's got really loose limbs, so you might find your baby's knees are right in front of their hips and their feet are right up inside the carrier, and that's absolutely fine. But Robin's just like, so we've got your feet down here. But by tucking their bottom in towards you, getting their weight onto the back of their bottom, so think deck chairs, not bar stools, what that does is it, it helps to curl the baby in towards you. And when they relax, they're just gonna rest their head on your chest. You might find that when you put them in the sling, if they're nice and awake and alert, I mean, honestly, you put them in the sling, they may start shouting at you. 
Generally, it's just about the process. Babies don't enjoy the process. They don't like being interfered with. So when we pick them up, we faff about, and we're not sure what we're doing in terms of using the sling. So babies get freaked out because they're not sure that you know what's going on. So it's just a case of fake it till you make it. Get them in, get them secure. Um, make sure you're safe. We'll go through safety stuff in a minute. And generally, they calm. If in doubt, get moving. We're mammals, we are huge on movement. So get moving and generally you'll find your baby will calm. But getting their weight tipped onto their bottom means that they, they curl in towards you. And when they're relaxed, they're just gonna rest their head on your chest. In the Nuna instructions, it does say to take this panel extender and to put it up to hold the baby's head. Honestly, I don't want to do that. I don't really want the carrier to come any higher than the nape of my baby's neck because I want my baby to have the ability to throw their head backwards, turn around and face in the other direction. If I have plastered their head to my body by doing up these buttons, then they don't have that ability. So I'm gonna leave that down. However, if I need to bend down, so say I need to put a plate in the dishwasher, or you know I've got a newborn and a toddler and I need to help with whatever's going on down here, I can always put a hand on my baby's head and I can bend down. I mean, let's face it, we should all be bending from the knees and not from the hips, but we don't. So hand on the baby's head and then you can bend down and do whatever you need to do with one hand. If you need both hands, by all means, temporarily, you can put up the panel extender uh, onto the upper buttons, like so. I could then load all of the lunch things that I've used for me and my toddler, and I can put all of that in the dishwasher, and this is holding my baby's head. Once I'm then upright, I don't need this anymore, so for safety reasons, I'm gonna then take it down. Oh, here we go. Right, so, safety guidelines. How do you know that your baby is safe in the baby carrier? The three things to be aware of, they should be high, they should be tight, and they should be visible. The carrier should hold your baby high on your body. You shouldn't put them in the carrier and they're down here. They should be up here in a position that you would naturally carry them in. So nice and high on your body, kissable height. On the firm part of your chest, if you've got, you've got breasts or soft squishy bits, baby needs to be above that. They should be tight. So they should be as tight as if you're holding them in your arms. You want to be able to put a hand on the back of their head, do a little dip forward and not feel their body weight pull away from you. And they should be visible. You should be able to look down and see your baby's face. Now, sometimes babies do face plant. They do like to rest against you like that. Now, if I look down, I can see even in this position with a bit of ugly double chin maneuvering, I can still see my baby's nose. So I know that what my baby's done is that. And if you take a flat hand and put it against your face, you can still breathe. Yeah, no problem. So if the baby's done that, that's not a problem. What you wanna watch out for is that they haven't done that. When they could have put their chin on their chest, that can be a hazard to their airway. So you want them to be nice and upright, head on the firm part of your chest, nice and tight, and visible. Um, to take the carrier off, I'm basically gonna reverse the process. I'm gonna support the baby's weight. I'm gonna undo. So to undo, you're gonna squeeze the sides of the buckle and just lift it away. Same on the other side. Squeeze and lift. And then you've got the two in the middle as well. Squeeze and lift away. Squeeze and lift away, nice and easy. And then you can just slide an arm into the carrier so you're holding the baby, drop the carrier, and then I can lift my baby, clear. Now, obviously, you can keep the carrier on. So you could take the baby out, thank you, Robin, um, and pass them off to somebody else for a feed or a nappy change or, you know, because you're gonna go and jump in the shower, whatever it is. But, you know, if you needed to leave the carrier on, you absolutely can do that. Um, it just flops down to kind of mid thigh. Uh, it's not gonna be a trip hazard or anything like that. If you want to take the carrier off, honestly, it's quite difficult to loosen these 
once it's on. This fabric is quite thick. It tightens relatively easily. It's quite hard to loosen it. So the easiest way to get it off, if I undo the waistband and then take this section and sort of throw it up under my chin, what you find is this clip then rides down your body and you can unbuckle to slip it off. Um, that's the easiest way. And then what I would then do is get into the habit of then doing that back clip back up and loosening your shoulder straps before you put it on, particularly if there's a chance that somebody else will pick the carrier up, somebody that you're sharing the carrier carrying with, maybe a partner or a family member um, uh, who may be a different size to you and may need those straps to be longer to be able to get the carrier on over their head. So if you've done that clip up and slightly loosened these, then it's gonna be really easy just to pop it back on over your head next time you need the carrier. Do your waistband up and you're good to go. Um, I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, do leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. Thanks a lot, I'll see you soon, bye.